Hi guys, welcome back to Grow Awesome. Today we're going to see how to reset our space for our emotional well-being. Decluttering is a process that has immense potential to help you heal emotionally. Are there things that you are clinging on to because you got it thinking that you will use but you didn't end up using it? Are there clothes that you outgrew but still holding because you want to lose weight and someday you want to wear it? Seeing these again and again invokes negative feeling of guilt, shame, anxiety and it ultimately disturbs the mental peace. One big blocker that we get in this process is the thought, what if I need it later someday? Here is a simple chart that will help you to take that decision to declutter your space. Do you really love this item? If yes, you should absolutely give it. If no, uh, have you used it frequently in the past 6 months to 1 year time? If yes, you can still keep it. If no, then the next question is, will you be able to afford it again if you need it really very badly you know, in future? If your answer is yes, thank it and let it go. If you are still not sure, then maybe the next question that you should ask is, is this cost worth trading the mental piece? For example, you might have invested say 1000 rupees in a hand blender, which you have actually not used it for the last one year and you might be keeping it thinking that you will use it in the future. But whenever you see it, you get that negative feeling of guilt. So just replace that with the question, is this thousand rupees worth the emotional battle that I undergo every time I see this? If you think yes, then keep it. If not, it's time to let it go. You can download this image in case if you want to refer it in future. The link is available in the description box. I realized that my home has lots and lots of homeless clutter. So my major task is to find a home for each one of them. One habit that I'm struggling to build is that to return the items back to their home. I'm working on this and I hope to keep it up. Don't underestimate the power of routines. Block time for everyday cleaning, especially if you're a working parent and don't have a domestic help. Have specific laundry days and folding days. You might also consider including uh, once in a fortnight activities like cleaning your fridge, deep cleaning, etc. Identify and set up systems that will help you to think once and then follow for a long time till you think that a change is needed. Something like a meal plan. Though when starting, we are tempted to follow multiple things as YouTube has amazing content around this, try to keep it as simple as possible. I have tried multiple things, wasted a lot of time and resources on this. Now finally, I have about 20 meals that I know to cook without using my brain within 10 minutes and proper prepare. It's working for me for more than 2 months now. Keeping decor simple works best for someone like me who actually doesn't enjoy the cleaning process. I prefer house plants for decor as they bring life to my home and also purifies the air. Taking care of them gives a sense of satisfaction and at a home we also invite guests. Making an arrangement for providing food and water for the birds and watching them is a great way to calm down and spend some quiet time with nature. Also, making your place smell nice will definitely lift up your mood. I am yet to buy a diffuser but what equally works for me is this Sambrani. This gives more spiritual and traditional vibe to my home. I hope you enjoyed this video. Reset your space and it will help you reset your mind and make your home a sweet home. Subscribe to Grow Awesome. I make videos on personal growth and lifestyle design. Bye-bye.